Hi, and welcome to the Golden Age Report. So we've talked about turkey quite a bit on this channel so far. They certainly are a wild turkey, and it appears that they are headed Russia's way. It seems that Erdogan is just super sneaky about it. We mentioned that the U.S. was a bit quiet when Turkey launched these strikes on their proxy in Syria, the Kurds. Sounds like they're getting a bit loud on it now. The U.S. corrupt Senator Mendez went hard after Turkey for both Syria and their recent missile threats against Greece. Also note that Greece's talk of sending S-300 air defense into Ukraine puts them in the crosshairs of Putin as well. This move would violate their existing peace treaty. So this would just give Turkey and Russia another common enemy. Erdogan has paused his ground assault on the Kurds, possibly to pick up some more F-16s from the U.S. Putin is getting Syria, Assad, and Erdogan together for a three-way powwow. Looks like they are going to smoke the peace pipe and plan out their next moves together. We heard rumors is that the U.S. is getting a bit nervous but is doubling down on Syria by bringing in more weapons into the area they control over there. More interestingly, the guys who have been lobbying to end the war in Ukraine met up at the World Cup Finals. So with each passing day, Turkey gets closer to Russia. Ultimately, they eventually want to just cut ties with the West and that whole debt system. We predict that they will continue to move slowly and then all at once. there was a big war room meeting between Lukashenko and Putin and his generals. This meeting could lead to the kickoff of this huge northern invasion, which eventually would lead to the likely downfall of Kiev. They certainly have the forces to do it. Also, we are hearing that Poland will wait until March before they invade Ukraine. Is Poland going up against Russia when they move into Ukraine? Or are they just planning to grab their piece of the pie over in Ukraine? Recall in a previous video that there was this rumor floating around that Poland believes that, that they are rightly owned a piece of the western Ukraine. The March timing seems about right as it seems that Russia will likely have reduced the Ukrainians to desperate levels by then so their move will be justified by NATO. More bad news for the pathetic Biden administration. It seems their worldwide authoritarian style continues to reap rewards. We are hearing that even Australia, who has terrible relations with China, is going to make the pivot. On another front, China is scheduled to carry out yet another round of exercises in the Sea of Japan with their new ally, Russia. Japan is currently in full all-out rearmament mode with their brand new $330 billion war budget. So as Japan is desperately preparing to arm themselves World War II style, they are being surrounded by China and Russia. North Korea apparently just fired up another ballistic missile, but this one will become their first spy satellite. Japan was just glad they didn't have to take cover on this latest launch. So we have been reporting week after week that Pakistan was inching towards the Russian alliance. The biggest issue has been their long-standing poor relations with India. Well, the absolute desperate Biden administration had to backtrack on their previous stance with Pakistan they made just weeks ago. They realized all of a sudden that they were short of close allies since they abused all of them. So first, the Biden administration put out a message that they stand with both Pakistan and India equally. Even though those two certainly have their problems together, that wasn't going to stay in the way of the U.S.'s relationships with them. Then the latest news is that they are going to send in troops to help protect the borders of Pakistan from the Taliban. The U.S., that January 6th corrupt warmonger committee plans another attempt to arrest Trump. There's supposed to be an announcement soon on the arrest coming from the committee. We are also coincidentally hearing at the same time about the National Guard being deployed in full force in D.C. for some other reason. At the same time, we're also hearing news suggesting that Musk will be sanctioned. Once again, the dark forces in power are speaking in reverse. I saw some ridiculous articles stating that Musk is a risk to democracy and paves the way to authoritarianism. Yes, everyone knows how free speech and authoritarianism go hand in hand. You know, if they say it enough times and Zuckerberg puts out the right posts in front of their, the masses, they will just start repeating it. It looks like Musk is to step down as the CEO of Twitter. However, that's probably not going to stop him from doing these type of polls, though. Note that the, the masses don't want this trillion dollar bill to go through, but that doesn't stop the politicians from putting it through. They need it. They want it. Yep, the warmongers put together another couple of boxes of paper and called it a bill. This one has over a trillion dollar price tag and includes a nice little 37 billion for Zelensky. Yes, apparently he's coming to Washington in person to collect and I'm sure he'll end up begging for the next 
thanks again for watching please don't forget to subscribe and pound that like button there's going to be a lot more coming we're just getting started